Hey everyone, welcome back to Art à la carte. Today we're going to be drawing dolphins, so let's get started. When building up the dolphin shape, I generally start off with the head, which I use just a circle shape for the head. And then from the head I decide which direction I'm going to draw my dolphins, whether I'm going to have his body going this way or this way. For this one, I'm going to have him coming as a side view, going this way towards his tail. So I'm going to draw in the backbone here, putting in my arch. Now, because dolphins are very flexible, <laughs> as dolphins swim, this arch will either come more severely or more flat, depending on how their tail is moving. In this line here for their tail, and then I'm going to follow up with a line that's slightly parallel to this, but as it gets closer and closer to the tail, it's going to get thinner, um, especially as it gets past right about here. Um, if you think about the, the internal organs and the muscle tissues, you have a lot of the, the stomach and the lungs right in here. And then back in here, um, you have just mainly muscles. So once it gets to about that point, it's really going to thin out rather quickly. But it's not going to come to a complete point. In fact, you're going to leave a little bit right there. And that's where the actual the end tail fin is going to actually connect onto that. Um, to just put in my shape, I'm going to put a very wide triangle shape. You can kind of see that I'm foreshortening this a little bit, so this fin here is going to be shorter um, than this one because it's going to be farther away. And when things are farther away, they get smaller in size, and as they get closer to you, they get larger in size. So there's going to be more to this side of the fin than this one. And then we're going to come up for um, kind of the, the beak, I guess, the mouth of the dolphin. And I'm going to come, kind of come through and find the halfway mark, and I'm going to draw just kind of a line coming out. This will be for the mouth. Now there's lots of different kinds of dolphins. The one I'm drawing today is, a, is the um, kind of the popular bottlenose dolphin. Now actually when people draw their the face they tend to want to make the top part of the dolphin's um, mouth larger and that's really not so. It's actually the, more the bottom lip that comes out further. So I'm going to have that one come out and then this one kind of comes out a little under it and slinks up. And when it gets to about here, it's actually going to come down a little bit, so I'm going to make my line come down just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to find my halfway mark, and I'm going to start my um, dorsal fin, I guess it, this is what this one's called. You find your halfway mark, and that's actually going to be the beginning of your dorsal fin. So the dorsal fins are not completely halfway on their body. It's kind of towards the back half. Okay, so I'll put in my dorsal fin, which isn't going to be as up and down as, say, maybe a killer whale um, or as broad as a shark's fin. And then I'm going to put in the side fins, which I'm going to come in halfway between here and here. I'm going to put kind of a an interesting kind of triangle. It kind of curves down in a, in a curvature. You want to think of how best the water would go around this dolphin. So things on this side going to curve so that when the water's coming, it can curve right over that. They're very aerodynamic. And then I can also put in just a little bit of the back side of the other fin. All right, and then all I have left is to put the eye. I do want to put a nice little eye shape right in here like this. All right, so we have all the parts to our dolphin done. So now I'm going to take my eraser and kind of clean that up a little bit. And there we go. Now if I take my pencil and I kind of use the side of it and push down on here, I can get a really nice shading effect. So I can begin adding some nice um, texture and value to the dolphin. So I get a lot of questions on how to shade, and I, I do plan on doing a video or a series of videos on shading and shadowing coming up, but just a couple tricks on shading is when you darken something in, it generally pushes it away, and when you um, lighten things up, it brings it closer. So when you're shading, you're going to want to find the areas of um, your dolphin or whatever you're shading that you're going to want to push back a little further. 
and you will tend to put a little bit more um, color to that or darkness to that to kind of push that back. So you can see that I've added a little bit dark, a little darker down here and up here because I want to give it kind of a rounded appearance. Then with my eraser I can come through here and erase some of the lines towards the center to kind of give it a shine here so that it looks like it's popping forward a little bit. Kind of put some definition to it. And there we go our finished dolphin body. Let's take a quick close look at the dolphin face. So I'm going to start off with a circle here for the kind of the head of the dolphin and then I'm going to draw in my beak and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on the beak. I don't know if it's called a beak. For some reason I'm wanting to say it's called the beak. You can message below and let me know if it's not called the beak. Um, it would be fun. Okay, so I'm going to go halfway through and I'm going to go up to where I want my mouth to be. But you notice I'm not making this a straight line. I'm kind of curving it kind of out a little bit and then as I'm coming in towards the head, I'm curving it up almost like a smile. I think that's why we like dolphins so much because they just look like they're happy and smiling. And then I'm going to kind of curve down and give a nice thick bottom jaw to that which is going to come down until it reaches about to where the circle is and then it's going to kind of fill out. This will be the jaw bone but as it starts coming over the, the body mass is going to flare out just a little bit. And then again, the top part of the mouth is going to come in just a little bit. You don't want to have it come in too far, otherwise he's going to look a little deformed, but just very slightly. And that's going to come in just a short ways until it reaches that top of the circle. And it's going to come and just kind of go across the, scal the skull very smoothly. Now the fun thing about dolphins is their eyes. Their eyes are shaped very much like a human's eye in that nice almond shape. And again, I think that's kind of why we can relate um, to dolphins because they almost have very human eyes. A lot of animals have a very distinct animal eye like a snake or a cat. Um, but dolphins and whales have surprisingly human eyes. I find that fun to look at them. Alright, and I'll take my eraser and kind of erase off the lines that I don't need. Alright, and you can put just a couple little wrinkle lines around where their eye is. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to take a line here. I'm going to up so you can see it. So I'm going to take a line here and I'm going to go around and pretend that I'm drawing the contour of the body. So because I want it to be full, I'm going to come towards me a little bit and then move back. And that's going to make it look like um, he has a little bit of shape to him. And then I can just kind of add a little reflective lines around him. There. He can be poking his head out of the water. For kind of a cool technique, when you get to this point, you can begin very lightly drawing the body going down into the water, but don't make it a solid line. Just kind of jagger it out there. It'll kind of give just, and it'll kind of give just a nice little definition of of the whale or the dolphin coming up out of the water. So I hope this quick look at how to draw dolphins was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other art videos. We draw lots of other different things, and I have new videos coming out each week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss out. Thanks for drawing with me today, and we'll talk to you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.